Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Misa. I'm 19 years old and I currently live in New York City. Although I am currently packing to move to Hawaii, which is a whole different story that I don't want to get into this video. But it is a super exciting time in me and my boyfriend's life and Koa, which is right here. Today's video is about body image, body image problems, bad relationships with food, and unrealistic ideas of beauty and what is normal and acceptable or beautiful. And I know that's a lot and I know that it's a big topic to get into and I filmed this video countless times and I've been very unsatisfied with the end result. So today I have planned it, I've bullet journaled it, and it's in my bullet journal for good. And I did that because this is a very serious topic and it's something that I'm really, really passionate about. And this is actually the first time that I feel comfortable filming this video because the past times that I've tried filming, I didn't feel comfortable uploading it because I didn't actually believe it. And I was also struggling with the same problem. So I was preaching it, but I wasn't really practicing it. And it kind of felt like it was lying. So today we are actually going to tackle this topic. I apologize if this video isn't perfect. I really just want to share what I've learned throughout my journey that maybe can help you tackle this as well. Well, that intro was so much longer than I wanted it to be, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the actual video now. Let's start off with some general history of actually my experience with this. So when I was younger, I grew up in a family that was very open about their opinions, and they still are. Every single time I meet my family, it's either I gain weight or I lose weight weight or they just have to mention something about my body and I feel like my family has gotten better with this over time but I was really sensitive to it when I was going through puberty so I kind of um, struggled with that and I got really anxious before I met my family my family was very open about that so when I was younger my mom blatantly told me that I have broad shoulders and that I shouldn't do push-ups because my shoulders would get broader. Broader. I was told that my boobs are far spread apart, so I should wear a push-up to bring them together. And also, I grew up in a very, very, very predominantly white neighborhood. And white people do mature quicker. Like, their bodies flower or bloom quicker. They mature, their bodies grow into a womanly shape quicker. And a lot of Asian girls kind of have like a childlike figure for the rest of their lives just because that's the way that our genetics are. And um, there are definitely some Asian girls that have like a super, super curvy body. But like for me and my mom and a lot of Asian girls that I know, we kind of have like a 12 year old girl body. And um, that's in comparison, of course, to like white girls or American girls who and European girls who have like really pretty hourglass figures and they grow into that when they get older. So growing up I didn't do that. I didn't have boobs. I still don't really have boobs, but I didn't really have boobs. I didn't I don't have hips. Um and I didn't really have like a womanly figure and on top of that I was Asian so guys in my area didn't see me as attractive. They just saw me as like a friend or I don't know, like they just Guys in my area just did not have a thing for Asian girls and I did not have reciprocated like feelings until I met Hudson pretty much. And I just like didn't think that white guys liked Asian girls because that's kind of how it was when I grew up. And it sucked and it really messed with my uh, femininity and the way that I looked at myself as a woman and I didn't feel womanly. I just kind of wanted to not be there so that's where a lot of my eating habits started in middle school when girls started getting boobs and stuff and i had my period like around everywhere everyone else so i was like why am i not like looking like everyone else and i also had a lot of girls around me that also had really bad body image problems and so they would be comparing their thigh gaps with me and they'd be like, like oh i have a thigh gap you don't, you don't really have a thigh gap or they'd be like oh, oh your knees touch oh my knees don't touch i have like big, bigger hips than you and like this is stuff that like girls would actually do with me in school in middle school so that's my background pretty much sorry the lights fluctuating and i know you can hear the ac but this is what we're working with right now that's pretty much my childhood that's why how i grew up and that's how i stayed all throughout until now. I'm 19. That started when I was like 13, maybe. Um, no, that started literally when I was like 10. From 10 to 19, almost 10 years of my life, I wasted hating my body and trying to make my body look different. So that's kind of my history and background of why I had a bad image of my body, even though that I always like looked skinny or looked 
petite or whatever I've heard so many things from so many people so now let's get into how I actually started seeing a change in my mindset and that's a really big point that you have to remember your body image is in your head there are people that you will see that completely absolutely accept their bodies and they are all different sizes there are bigger women that love their bodies there are teeny tiny 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 petite women that love their bodies you, have to, you just have to realize that all bodies are actually beautiful and they're beautiful because they're god given they're god made and they're beautifully created but on top of that your bodies serve you they're beautiful beautiful functioning things that you should nourish and nurture because it'll serve you for the rest of your life and it's been serving you and if you just like realize that just like just be thankful of your body and what it does for you that itself should just take a little bit of the edge off bodies are meant to change just because your body is changing maybe you've given birth or maybe you hit puberty like everyone's bodies change constantly and if you are open to that and accepting towards that you won't be so stressed out about it. And one other point that you have to note when you're changing your mindset of your body image is to note that social media and the fashion world is fake. There are so many girls that come out, they have millions of followers or hundreds of thousands of followers because they look a certain way, but then they come out or you see a picture of them from a paparazzi and they don't look the same. And that's because Social media is not real and you have to have to have to recognize that and if you are also like me and get caught up in comparing yourselves to someone on social media or some sort of Instagram girl or some sort of celebrity or some sort of something delete your social media I know it's hard but delete it like um, archive all your photos so you can bring it back if you want to later after you feel better or you're mentally better just like take a break from it or just delete the app and just get off of it for a while and that helped me out so much that really really was a catalyst in making my body image better because I stopped comparing myself to bodies and this isn't only for Instagram if you have a problem doing that with girls on um, Pinterest because I know Pinterest likes to push out skinny 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 fashion pictures um, if that bothers you get off Pinterest get off Facebook if you compare your lives to your friends get off whatever thing that's making you toxic and that will help you change your mindset drastically and another thing that you really have to realize is that your life is short. You're here for a purpose and you're here to fulfill a purpose. Your life is more than what you look like. It's about what you do and the impact that you have on the people around you. It's the love that you give and it's the love that people are willing to give you because of the good person that you are. Another point is that beauty comes from the within and I'm, I kind of just said that with the love and everything but I wanted to point out that if you are happy and confident with yourself other people can see it and if you are insecure with yourself people can see that too. When you are actually actually confident and comfortable with the way that you look to the point where that you're not even thinking about it you're just living your life and living it to the fullest, living it in the moment and just being present with yourself no matter regardless of what you look like, just living it, like that is when people can see that you are happy with yourself. And that confidence is more beautiful than if you were a size zero on the new Gucci poster. That's enough of like points. I just, those are points that I really had to make to make these tips worth it because if you go in with these tips the wrong mindset and intentionality you're not going to reap the benefits like you should keeping in mind all of the points that i made these are the tips that you should apply to try and make yourself feel better from within and this is a journey this is an instant for these eating and workout tips that i'm going to go into if you go about it in a diet type of mindset that it's going to be temporary and you're going to lose this weight you're going to rebound you gotta think about it as like, this is the starting point until forever. There is going to be no end to these changes that are gonna be made. And if you think in your head that, oh, I should try this, but in your mind you know that you're not gonna be able to prolong it or you're gonna be miserable making this change, don't make it. Okay, so tip number one is to eat foods that make you feel good. I'm not saying to eat clean, I'm not saying to eat greens, I'm not saying to eat salads. Eat foods that make you feel good. Right now, I woke up and I ate brownies. <laughs> but I also made a sandwich full of like protein and good carbs and some cheese, which is a fat, but it's not the best fat, but you know, whatever, cheese. I made it for me and my boyfriend and we really enjoyed that meal together. And that way, um, the food was enjoyable, it was a pleasant experience, and I liked the taste of it, but I felt good afterwards. So eat food that makes you feel good and eat food until it makes you feel good. If you start feeling full and you feel like you're stuffing it, just eat like, 
make sure that you know that and like stop it this is something that was really hard for me as well because i couldn't like get myself to like just stop eating that can lead into like more of a restrictive mindset so when you're sensitive about that you have to be careful it's about the like the mind track that you make if you think oh if i eat more i'm gonna get fat so i have to stop that's toxic but if you're like oh if i eat more i know my stomach's gonna be uncomfortable and i'm gonna be uncomfortably full and i want to make sure that i don't do that and i want to make sure i take care of myself and i'm gonna stop eating now that's a good way to go about it so choose foods that make you feel happy and eat the amount that makes you feel good like go about the way that you feel and if you feel good and if you consistently feel good then that'll help you fix your body mindset and then for workouts work out in a way that you like i don't like going to the gym anymore if i'm going into the gym i'm doing like cardio or um weights and stuff for like a specific reason yeah maybe i'll start a gym membership again but for the most part i just like to work out at home doing hit workouts or um doing ab workouts i love doing ab workouts or i'll do like band workouts for my butt and those are types of workouts that i really like to do work out so it feels good to you. I learned that I love swimming as a workout. Swimming makes me so happy. It makes me smile. I love swimming with my friends and my boyfriend and I learned that it helps tone my arms and my thighs and I learned that and that made me really happy. So now I love swimming even more. I love to go on walks with friends and just talk but we're walking so that's fun. And I also love hiking with people because that's a good way to talk and get a good like headspace where you can get dive deep and make meaningful conversations, but you're also working out. So those are some ways that I like to work out practically and those are some activities that I like to do that actually also implement working out in a fun and um, unintentional way. Here's another tip that is more like straightforward and doesn't require a lot of mind-body connection drink green juices. I actually love the taste of green juices, so I can say this easily. I know a lot of people hate the taste of green juices. My boyfriend also cannot have greens. I drink a serving of that every day, especially during like my PMS and like bloating areas because that really helps detox you um, and it helps you bloat less. This is all the advice that I have for you guys so far to try and help you um, change your mindset and make your um, balance with food and relationship with food and your body the way that you view yourself a little bit better um, this is stuff that helped me I know that there's probably many questions or even criticisms of this video please comment it down below this is a very sensitive topic and I would really like to educate myself on how to speak about it in a more neutral way and if I'm not doing that let me know just remember your body is beautiful no matter what it looks like and it's a beautiful thing so respect it love it want to nourish it and it will do the same for you. That's all I have to say. I hope you guys liked it. I'm also vlogging today. So if you guys want to see like more background stuff, that vlog will be up after this video. So subscribe if you want to see that. I'm really, really transitioning my videos into being more about intentional living and healthy living and um, a lot of things that come along with that. So if you guys want to see more videos like that, please stick around. I would love to have you in my little family and just be healthy, stay safe. And I hope you guys are all well. Um, bye.